Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of New Star Soccer 5. It's been kind of weird, I haven't recorded anything of this game in about two weeks. I had a shit ton of episodes that went up. Um, you know, I've been publishing them one by one, so yeah, I've had kind of a big reserve that I more or less, yeah, um, got rid of, <laughs> if you can say that, uh, because I've been kind of ill. I talked about earlier, a couple of episodes ago, that, you know, it's kind of nice to have um, several episodes, you know, as a buffered zone if you become ill or anything like that. I had some weird, was sort of like I was, you know, um, ill, what do you call it, that I was, you know, I was all buggered up and, and you know, had a fever and all that stuff. I can't remember what you call it, is, is it germs or anything like that? I don't know. Something like that, you know, the common cold. Yeah, that's what you call it. Yeah, but it was more than that. I mean, I was sick for two or three weeks in total, <laughs> and it was really, really odd. Um, I'm still a little bit ill, but my throat isn't suffering anymore. That's good. <laughs> that's probably for the best. If you are recording YouTube videos, that you're not sitting here <laughs> like that all the time. Uh, I might still do it occasionally but most of the time I'm, I feel alright so yeah yeah it was sort of like if I had some kind of a flu what do you call it streptococcus 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 something like that uh, some some virus infection in my throat that messed things up I think it was something like it um, it might still be there but at least I'm not ill anymore <laughs> I looked I kind of looked at my what do you call it, the, the um, illness signs looked them up on the internet and the closest I got was actually a flu disease and um, streptococcus something diseases maybe you say in Latin I don't know uh, but it yeah <laughs> the, the weird thing is what I really you know the closest really defined uh, one I, I saw was um, actually Charlotte's fever or whatever you call it Charlotte's fever in Swedish yeah only really affects children usually but sometimes it can happen to adults as well and it was sort of like it not not all like it because I had you know most of the uh, what do you call it most of the uh, actual signs or whatever you say but not all of them not the worst ones so I guess it was some kind of a a mild version of it you know Charlotte fever light or something I don't know but if I would have um, you know realized it earlier I probably would have gone to the doctor and got some antibiotics and all that stuff but now it's too late it's too late my body took care of it all by itself hooray so <laughs> it was there for like two or three weeks in total uh, I thought you know the first week was like okay some kind of a normal disease then I didn't really think of it much, and then it got a little bit worse. So I was like, "Oh shit! If the, you know, if it's not better due after this weekend, I go to the fucking doctor." And it's been it's better now. So yeah, I still feel a little bit dry in my throat. I don't know if that's something to be worried about. And um, probably I'll check that out soon as well if if it doesn't get better. Um, but yeah, I feel all right at least. That's good. So yeah, as I said, it's been a while since I recorded. Any new Star Trek 5 episodes? I've been recording some Banish episodes. You might hear in them me sitting there and <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, and now you know why. Yeah. Uh, but. Mm. Yeah. What to say? What to say? Yeah, there's a lot of things has happened in the world since I last recorded an episode. Russia more or less invaded Ukraine. That's kind of bad. Yeah, it is. Especially if you're from Sweden, I mean, the Americans, you'll be like, Russian STEM! But if you are from Eastern Europe or, you know, Northern Europe, within basically Russia's sphere of influence, <laughs> then you're worried for real. I guess the Swedes are not as worried as the, the guys in the Baltic states and, and Finland and Poland and those countries. But, I mean, if Russia becomes, you know, shit nuts, yeah, if they go completely crazy, after they take Finland and Poland and Ukraine and all those places, they'll go for Sweden. Yeah, for sure. So we are kind of, you know, next in queue after the first ones. If, if, yeah. I mean, of course, NATO, NATO, NATO and USA, they would have, you know, 
done things by then, but you never know. Maybe they have some kind of a secret zombie army or, you know, maybe they just nuke everyone in the ores. That would be kind of horrible. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not really worried, but it's still horrible. And that's what makes me so angry, all those stupid fucking Americans who's like, <laughs> Justin Timberlake already wrote the song about Crimea. <laughs> Yeah, because as you might know, Russia has gone into Crimea. They themselves pretend that they haven't. They're like, oh, all of a sudden, Crimea got their own specialized, very advanced uh, army out of nowhere. <laughs> they got Russian arm, you know, they got Russian arms and Russian trucks and Russian soldiers, but they're not Russians, we promise. <laughs> yeah. It's so, it's so fucking weird. I mean, if, if they are going in there, stop pretending that you aren't. The soldiers themselves, those who actually talk, they're like, Oh, who the fuck are we trying to fool? We're Russians, what the fuck do you think? But in Russian, of course, I can't speak Russian though, so yeah. Uh, oh, that was the worst shot ever, yeah. And also they, they got Russian vans and Russian helicopters and everything. And the Russia's, Russian state media, they're like, Oh, so all of a sudden Crimea got like one of the most advanced air weapons in entire Eastern Europe. How the fuck did that happen? We don't know. <laughs> but maybe they just, you know, you know, they, they took it took it out of their sleeves, I guess. They've been hiding it for for 10 years now and they're like, "Now is the time. We must reveal ourselves." Yeah fucking silly pretend that you're something that you aren't or that you aren't something that you are rather <laughs> yeah fucking Putin you're I don't know what he's doing he's a silly person but the silliest of all is those who it's like oh yes in Timberlake he wrote the Crimea River yeah it would be so nice if there was a river in Crimea fucking assholes I mean can't they take things seriously yeah, I don't know. I was trying to come up with some some British or American similarity, but I couldn't. But still, um, <laughs> yeah. Hooray! I got some energy. That's good. Uh, but I don't really remember what to say. But it's 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 really really bad. At least. God damn them! Yeah. I mean, the fact that people are joking about it. In a conflict that might take human lives, that was, you know, that's what makes me angry, mad, mad. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm not really that upset, but I kind of find it silly when they're like, <laughs> people might die. Fuck you. Right now, Russian forces are surrounding Ukrainian bases, trying to basically storm them out. Yeah, I mean, if that won't succeed, they would probably shoot them all. That's fucking weird. That's fucking bad. Yeah, just because some angry dude named Vladimir Putin sits in fucking Kreml or in Moscow or whatever he is, wherever he is, uh, <laughs> you know, pretending that I can create what we had 25 years ago in this silly country. It's not a silly country in that way, but. I mean, the way Putin looks at it, it's silly. Yeah. I must say. Uh, I did not know what to do there with the ball, so I just ran into the goalie with it. That's okay, though. Yeah. Um, so, basically, try to be serious, and if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all, please. Yeah! I mean, okay, you can joke about stuff, but then at least try to be original. Yeah, I guess I can give credit to the first one who came up with that Crimea river yoke, but then like a thousand other people on Twitter be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Obama is like, stop it, you. And Putin is like, boo hoo, Crimea river. <laughs> and then the others are like, yeah, Justin Timberlake already wrote a support song for this area like five years ago. Yeah. And now I guess all the Justin Timberlake fans will come to this video and be like Oh, boo-hoo on you, cry me a river. <laughs> yeah, 
what I say to them? Fuck you. Yeah, that's how you say it. That's how you say it. Decent interception that you can say as well. Thank you, boss. So, except for that, I mean, yeah, stupid Russians. I mean, I guess, yeah, yeah, stupid Russians. If, if you're a Russian subscriber and you're watching this, yeah, write a letter to Putin, tell him, stop it. Stop it now! Yeah, or the whole thing is gonna explode. Right now, USA, they're sending, you know, a... What do you call it? A cruiser? No, the, the big uh, ship with planes on it. What do you call those ones? It's not a battleship. Hangar Fartig in Swedish. Yeah! Is it a cruiser? No, it's not. Is it a... It's a carrier. Yeah, that's what you call them. Um, they're sending one of those to the Black Sea. And they're also sending more airplanes to Balticum. And then NATO is having, you know, extra meetings and the United Nations is, is there in Crimea and they're getting threatened by armed men and everything. <laughs> so things are kind of bad in that country. We'll see how it develops during the next days. Um, yeah, as usual, yeah, I'm a little bit rude when I say this, but during the last 200 years living in Sweden, it's been like, so we're up here in the north. No one basically care about us. Let's all be as diplomatic as we can and we will never get invaded by anyone. Basically. So, yeah. That's what we and Switzerland has done. <laughs> yeah. High five, Switzerland! I can't... I was about to... Yeah! High five the screen to make some sort of artificial sound. But I realized that that would have been silly, so I didn't do it. But basically, yeah, Sweden and Switzerland, we like those dudes stuck up in the mountains that no one really cares about, no one really wants. Uh, so yeah, we can just sit here on our fat horses, collect the money, meanwhile the world goes bananas, we kill each other and we're like, no, too bad, yes, come back when you solve your problems, yes indeed, then we can talk. Yeah. I mean, there's no wonder why in, in you know, a uh, crisis like this, you know, when there's crisis, crises, do you say crises, crisis, I don't know, yeah, in situations like these, um, when the United Nations are sending people over there, it's almost always, you know, Swedes or Swiss, switch, switch people there, how do you say, Switzerlandish people there, people from Switzerland there yeah <laughs> uh, because we have you know I guess both Switzerland and Sweden view ourselves as kind of more or less neutral even though Sweden is part of the European Union we are kind of a shadow member of NATO as well um, but officially we have you know an official being neutral uh, policy so Officially, we are neutral, and therefore, we must decide. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are upset with Sweden, trying to be so diplomatic all the time. Like, oh, they're silly Swedes, think that they are so much that they are. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, there it came, the one I talked about in the beginning. Occasionally, you hear a, as I said, I did not do that on purpose, though, but I... <laughs> I reminded myself about it just when I did it. Yeah, but, um, oh shit. I was supposed to pronounce someone's name as well, but I can't remember the name. It was South American though. It's okay. He asked me, can you pronounce it in your video? I guess if I do, I'll release a shitstorm over his head, so I better don't. I'm protecting you, you know, yeah. And I guess 9 out of 10 people have no clue what I'm talking about. That's okay. That's okay, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Swedes always trying to be diplomatic. I mean, yeah, we kind of are, but we are kind of, you know, yeah, you know, only officially. Unofficially, we are kind of, you know, with the Western powers, I guess. It was more like 50 years ago, we were stuck in between, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place, USA versus the Soviet Union, and then Sweden were like in between. Squeezed in between Russia, Europe, and USA. It's like, <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so, yeah, that's that's how it is. Thor Golson, isn't he? Hold on a minute. Thor Golson. I I need to check this out. I have Thor Golson here. And Pabu. Uh, yes. Proceed. I need to check this out during the next game. Uh, play. Go to match. I need to because I remember the Golson name. I do. Let's see if I can find Pabu as well. <laughs> That's kind of weird. By the way, I have a cat in my room now. She's sleeping. That's cute. Okay, no goals on nor any Pabu. But remember, I have one goal, so maybe that's in the national team or something like that. I guess it might be. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I have a cat in my room. She's sleeping tightly in my bed. That's kind of cute, actually. She's a cute cat. Yeah. yeah. She's really ugly, but yet cute. Yeah, she's been here for like 10, no, maybe 8 years, 7 years, something like that. Yeah, she's really, really, what do you call it, Drig. But yet she's a cute cat. You don't know what Drig means. I don't know what it is in English. I I know, but I can't remember it currently. Um. Okay, but we're meeting the Valencia. This is the Champions League. It must be great. We are going to win this this leg as well, or whatever you call it. Oh, oh, oh okay. Fucking teammates. Uh, almost messing it up. Oh. Thank you, my ball, my ball, my ball. Oops. What? Oops. I was in front of. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah. Well, shit happens, I guess. Okay. Um. But yeah. What? What did I say? Hmm. We're trying to be diplomatic. I guess we are in a way. I guess we aren't in another way. Um. Or I mean, we are diplomatic, but. I don't know how good we are at it. Maybe better than other countries, but yet worse than some countries. I mean, if you want a great diplomat, you should go see someone from Switzerland or Sweden or Norway or maybe even Canada. Yeah, th those Canadians are great. I like Canadians. They're they're nice people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they they got this picture over themselves to always be nice. And gentle about everything except when it comes to hockey games then they can be kind of dickish but yeah uh, I'm not speaking about the Olympics now but yeah, I'm speaking about Canada in general when it comes to hockey yeah they're brutal on the hockey field yeah I was thinking of maybe making some sort of a um, you know comics what do you call it comic strip uh, in which you know in Canada and then you have people in the queue in the food store and you know car queues and everything everyone being so nice wow that's so nice of you 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 know no one's fighting and then on the hockey game everyone's fighting even in the audience everyone's fighting with everyone like, and then they get banned from the hockey audience and then they're like oh so what what, what now <laughs> and then the next scene they're all in a curling arena Say curling arena, yeah, <laughs> and they all fight in the audience during the curling game. <laughs> That'd be kind of great. I don't know if 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 you are as dead serious when it comes to curling as with hockey, but I mean, Canada, they're good when it comes to hockey and curling. Basically, that's what you're good at. You had some some great skier as well. I can't remember her name or his name, but you had someone who, who did all right. Skiing competitions, not in this Olympics, I think not, but in some some competition, yeah. Except for that, what the hell is Canada good at? I don't know. Maybe building societies. Yeah, they are. <laughs> there, they're good there. I have to give them that. I've heard a lot of good things about Canada when it comes to building up cities. When it comes to you know, um, maybe not curing, but you know, helping helping criminals out in the real society without necessarily being a criminal yeah and then, then you have Mayor Ford as well of, of Toronto um, he seems like a nice dude maybe not the the I mean most sophisticated dude in the world but yeah he still seems like a nice dude yeah I can't I can give him that I mean sure he's most crack and he's 
shit drunk and he punches people and he screams and yells and he's <laughs> basically he's done a lot of weird things that a mayor really shouldn't do but he seems alright yeah I can give him that but I mean Canada everyone needs to have those crazy people yeah I promise you yeah I mean America who the hell do they have <clears throat> a lot of them can't even remember any names there's so many yeah but you got Mayor Ford he's great yeah I saw his interview on Jimmy Fallon's show that's kinda great actually <laughs> yeah yeah I don't have too much to talk about I'm just trying to play off this game now so we can end up this episode but basically if you don't want war in Crimea show some love show them give them you know send them some, some flowers and chocolate maybe and maybe you can I don't know kick Putin in the arse if you're Russian I, don't, I shouldn't do that though I shouldn't tell you to do that because I mean if I tell you to do that I might get my channel hacked and everything and my computer hacked and, and all that stuff and if you do it you might get killed yeah so don't don't kick Putin in the arse unless I mean he's got some kind of a weird fetish and you're having some brutal um, sadistic sex with him basically then maybe you can kick him in the arse yeah but I guess the chance of someone watching this video having those kind of weird games together with Putin I would consider them small yeah um, <laughs> to say the least yeah but who knows I mean maybe Putin wants you to put in your boot in his arse <laughs> No, that was a bad one. I'm sorry. We're going to move on. We're going to do a horse race and then we are going to finish up this episode. Ah, oh, my cat awoke. Now she's licking her paw. And then she's stroking it over her ear so she's kind of cleaning her ear. That's cute. She's a cute cat, yeah. I don't know if you have any animals at home, but if you do, you know what I mean. Let's go horse racing. It says go horse racing with friends, but doesn't really feel like I'm doing this with my friends I'm doing this with my horses unless my horses are my friends I mean they are my friends as long as they're winning but obviously they're not winning so <laughs> yeah they're not really my friends no they are not god damn you horse I'll have to make horse meat out of you I didn't even make a profit of that one god damn it three horse 21 race yes totally 26,000 spent on this one so we basically got to win this one if I want to make profit and he is probably going to win this one that's good that's actually fantastic yeah nice sweet you're my friend spaghetti forgetty I think that was spaghetti forgetty at least I hope so yeah it was great sweet so what I do now I basically round up this episode I say thank you all for watching oh we should hopefully you enjoyed this episode as I said hopefully I'll see you all around the next time do I have I want a casual clothing sponsorship contract give me that please yeah but as I said hopefully you enjoy this and um, I'll try to be a little bit more um, up to date with releasing the episodes as well I mean once I, I published episode 76 I actually said the date that I recorded that one in the video so it's like oh that was like two or three weeks ago how the fuck <laughs> how the fuck did I end up that far behind <laughs> um, so yeah I'll, I'll try to be a little bit more up to date I mean I wouldn't like to talk about Crimea if the whole situation got resolved yeah the Russians like okay we're sorry we're, we're going home again we'll leave you all alone then I'll come there but like don't you speak about Crimea in that way and then everyone replies, he, he, they're like, oh, but th th the situation's over, man. <laughs> you, you can relax, you know, take it easy. Now, like, fuck you. Yeah. So I'll try to be a little bit more up to date, yeah. Most likely you'll see this episode tomorrow, actually. I recorded this on Thursday. Most likely you'll see this on a Friday. Friday somewhere in the beginning of Mars. Let me check the date, actually, on my cell phone. Hmm. It will be... Probably, possibly 7th of Mars 2014 or Saturday the 8th, worst case scenario. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode and hopefully I'll see you all around the next time. Yeah, 
and uh, goodbye, everybody.